Hi guys, and today I bring you good news. Kind of, you know, I mean, well, they say every cloud has a silver lining. So as we're under the uh, shadow of the dreaded coronavirus, which has now seen Italy on lockdown, and I mean lockdown, actually, I'm going to come back to that. Um, the silver lining is, well, before I tell you that, make sure that you are subscribing to my channel. If you're watching this on a desktop, I think there's a logo down here. If you hover over that, a subscribe button will come up. In any case, there's a subscribe button underneath this video. Make sure you hit that. Make sure you hit the bell notification. And please do share and tell everybody to subscribe as well. Meanwhile, also check me out on all social media channels uh, on hashtag Brown Car Guy and follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Uh, Facebook or it's all brown car guy you can just do a search and of course browncarguy.com I'm also on drive tribe check me out there and I do stuff for British Asia news which I'll come to in a minute as well so what's this silver lining well fuel prices fuel prices are dropping because there's a strange sort of side effect of what's going on and I know that um, people are uh, very very worried about their investments and their pensions as the as the it's looking like there's signs of there being another recession hopefully not fingers crossed um, but one of the side effects has been that Russia and Saudi Arabia got into a bit of a uh, uh, an argument a bit of a spat over fuel production and they fell out and they and they basically said screw you I'm going to go and make as many barrels as I can and Saudi Arabia said well I'm going to do the same and I'm going to price you out of the market so now there's a fuel price war which means that fuel prices are going down which means that in a time when we're being told to stay at home fuel prices are at the lowest they've been for a while in fact fuel prices I just saw now in Asda, here in the UK, fuel prices, uh, this is for uh, unleaded petrol, have dropped to £1.14.7, less than £1.15 pence per litre. And I think they've gone in past, in the past, they've gone as high as £1.39, £1.40 a litre. So that's a two pence drop today, but overall, that's significantly less than where fuel prices normally at. So there you go, break out the V8s. Let's all go buy monster trucks. Let's all go buy Mustangs. Because, you know, fuel prices are dropping. This is great. Isn't it awesome news? Except that you can't go anywhere because we've been told to stay at home uh, as much as possible, apparently. And if the dreaded lockdown happens here in the UK, as has happened in Italy, then wow, we really w we won't even be able to go to the petrol station. So maybe it's all a moot point. Anyway, and how does it all bode for the whole get out of uh, petrol cars and combustion cars and get into electric cars? And you're like, well, petrol's cheaper now. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of a lot of stuff to unpack there. It's very very complicated. Um, another thing to worry about for car guys, for petrol heads, and I looked up the other day about car production in Italy because, of course, uh, and especially the north of Italy, which was the original red zone, you have Modena, Maranello, uh, which, of course, are the homes of exotic car makers like uh, Ferrari and Lamborghini and others as well. Um, most recently, Ferrari did put out, I think it was literally like a day ago or something, they did put out, uh, there was some news to say that Ferrari production actually is continuing uh, unabated because they have allowed for it and they've set up precautions and they're continuing. I don't know how the latest... Uh, I don't have, I've been searching on the internet, I haven't found the latest news, i.e. in the last few hours, because obviously yesterday it was announced that Italy would go into a total lockdown. So I don't know if that is affecting production, but up till that point, Ferrari was like, no, no, we are still making cars. So you will, if you've got a Ferrari on order, chances are that you'll still get it. You might just not want to sit in it for two weeks car quarantine uh so so that so that's going on so i'll keep an eye on that and maybe i'll try and update you tomorrow if i can see what actually is happening with production in italy as you know production in china of course fell off a cliff and car sales of course fell off a cliff down by 80 percent in china because of the virus although the virus has thankfully peaked in china and uh, now they they seems like they're on top of it so which is a good sign for the rest of us as well so yeah fingers crossed and best wishes and prayers to anybody that might have been affected by the coronavirus um you know hopefully we'll get through this soon um so a completely different bit of news aside from anything to do with corona was that um and a lot of you may not know this guy but of course i know him um uh, i'm often accused of uh, resembling him to an extent and a lot of uh, my asian bros my brown car guy bros will know or bros and sis will know this guy the bollywood legend amita bachin uh, recently posted on his blog that he had been reunited with a classic 
1950s uh, Ford Prefect that had been found, restored, and gifted to him by a friend of his. Um, and he's just put up some pictures of himself with this bright yellow classic car that apparently was his first uh, family car back in the 1950s in Allahabad. Allahabad, is that where he came from? And uh, yeah, it's just a nice story, really, and amongst all of this, you know, you know, misery and bad news everywhere. And I've just posted that up on browncarguy.com, on my tribe, on Drive Tribe, and of course on British Asia News. So go check it out there. And I've also posted, uh, or I will post now, a couple of pictures on my Instagram. Um, and uh, yeah, so. Yeah, Amitabh Bachchan, he's a, he's a car guy too, apparently, looks like. Anyway, in fact, and he's stable. I think at the moment he's got a Porsche Cayman. Um, he's got a, a Range Rover. He's got a Bentley Continental GT. Previously, he's had a Bentley Arnage, and he's had a Rolls-Royce Phantom. Um, so, yeah, so, I mean, he's not known for it, I don't think, but I think he is a bit of a car guy. And uh, if you want to Google this, look up um, Amitabh Bachchan, Kalia, Camaro, Chevrolet Camaro scene. It's pretty cool. It's reminiscent of what was that movie? The Driver from the 1970s. Uh, check it out. Um, you know what? Maybe I'll put a link on this uh, in the description below if I can find it. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Like I said, make sure that you are subscribing. Make sure you hit the notification bell and make sure that you're following me on all social media channels and of course on browncarguy.com and make sure you tell everybody as well to do the same. I love to see them here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again all tomorrow.